Hi, welcome back to Stronger with Rakesh Shukla. As you know, we speak about um, tools, techniques, and methods to become mentally, physically, and emotionally stronger. Yesterday, um, I got a series of messages from someone I know about w wanting to hear uh, how to get out of a situation where, or how to cope with the situation is the right word, uh, where um, she's the abused child um, and the father's drunk. And it kind of put me off and, you know, uh, I'm like, how do I speak about that? Because I have no experience in any of that. But the more I read through it, the more I realized that it's like any other abusive relationship. And there are many kinds of abusive relationships. And I don't need to explain those to you. A lot of you would have experienced them, uh, experienced them unfortunately, yourselves. It's very commonplace. Um, it can be husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, it can be children and parents, I mean, pretty much any uh, relationship uh, can be abusive uh, and typically is in one or three dimensions that, of course, it is when it is physical, it is very apparent, you know, um, that there is physical abuse. Um, sexual abuse is common as well. Um, and we'll come to why it kind of takes those forms. Um, but equally common or more pervasive is emotional abuse. And um, when there is not no telltale marks for you know you you're being hit, but I think in all those cases, especially the emotional abuse part, um, the test for my test for abuse that there is actual abuse is is knowing um, that somebody, if I'm in an interaction with you and you lower my self-esteem, you lower my self-worth, you lower my belief in yourself, myself. That means I'm being set up for abuse. Okay, and that and the fact that if I were to describe that situation to you, not as happening to either you or me, but if I were to describe that situation happening to one of your friends, and if you you say no, no, that friend needs help. If that friend needs help, then you need help. I think that's where the this insidious nature of abuse comes in because people know that they need help they are in abuse situation but they find it very difficult to get out of it or to do anything about it they just end up tolerating it um, and part of it is because the abuser typically manipulates them uh, manipulates them by like i said lowering self-esteem insulting them you it kind of breaks your confidence and you you kind of start feeling worthless that if i and that kind of insult and that kind of um, threat um, is, you know, partly financial, partly physical, partly emotional, partly sexual. It's like if you leave this house, where would you go? You'd not get a job. How would you take care of yourself and, and, and so on and so forth. You just, you are a graduate. You have education. You have the ability to look after yourself. But you've started believing whatever has been told to you over many years. Um, the parallel is with with the kid who's uh, being abused by the father as well i mean in most of these cases you are actually better off outside that relationship but you've chosen to stay in or you think that there is no other option um coupled with that is that uh, the abuser makes you f makes you feel it is your fault you are the one who's caused it and um, it induces more helplessness because you don't know exactly what's wrong and what is triggering this and the 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 person who's abused uh, stays in that fear that they have done something to trigger this episode okay mm. um, and of course there is this tremendous amount of entitlement ultimately it's all about power the person who's abusing you want get some pleasure out of it because they are otherwise pardon my french but they're actually men without balls they don't have their place in life they cannot they're not whatever sexually good enough they're not mentally good enough they're not good enough in some other way and they take it out on those who cannot defend themselves that's how i look at abuse i mean from a psychiatric evaluation point of view it could be different but that's how uh, that's how i think about it um, and so it is a it is a lot of power and this entitlement and this sense of wanting to control um, but uh, along with abuse comes another interesting thing which is um, the abuser also plays the victim so somebody hits someone and you know I, once i think that i've hit you bad enough i start crying 
and start feeling like really sorry till you actually forget that you the party that was hit and you start worrying about me and this is just a ploy because once by by crying and or feeling sorry for myself and making um, you feel sorry for me i have just shifted the locus the the blame and i can start the cycle back again and uh, like i said it's not and necessarily that it is physical all the time emotionally it plays out pretty much every day in you know, most kind of relationships i've also spoken about surviving stress and you survive stress by only one of three ways either you get away from that stressor whatever whatever situations causing the stress or you modify your behavior your response to the stress or you modify the behavior of that stressor you know you change one of these two things or both or you learn to live with it i mean there's no fourth way and in the link below you can see some of what i've written about stress so let's talk about uh these same three things in in an abusive relationship um the option to get away is always there but is one of the least exercise options like i said because the abuser actually lowers your self esteem to the point then you start thinking that there's you are without options i've seen there's a lady who studied with me in school um was married to you know this hot shot um uh ias guy really badly abused pretty much all her life um uh, it took her 25 30 years to actually get out of that relationship for the first time she has a job in delhi i'm really proud of her but it's taken a lot for her to build that self confidence and say listen i could get a job and you know what you don't have to be the ceo when you get a job um getting a job getting a break just you know keeping yourself up in your own eyes is reward enough of your life most of the times so um but if you choose that up ultimately you will have to choose that option if you choose that option um you will need to prepare and i would like to mention a couple of things especially in this in this um, you know kind of context about law the police is you know you could ask the cops to help you but for the most part they are the most corrupt species in this on this planet um it may or may not go your way but you must remember this that cops are not the law the court is the law and there is a lot of law that supports for instance women and children so if uh, if you approach a police station if you approach cops to help and if they refuse to help you can actually move the court directly talk to a lawyer they will explain all this to you okay so the courts actually allow for you don't need